Yeehaw! It's John's Brew Time Bands. Hi there, welcome back to John's Brew Time Bands. We've got another interesting Makita drill here. I've got this off eBay for £10. 10 English pounds. Now, in the posting, the gentleman or lady or whoever said that the speed controller on the top wasn't working right and it was, um, I don't know, not engaging or, or not running right or making a racket. I've given it a quick test with the battery and it seems I can't find anything wrong with it. But what intrigued me about this drill, it is made in America, made in the USA. Now, in America, they've got a Makita plant. Well, I don't know if they've got other Makita plants, but one of the main ones is in um, Bu 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 Buford, Georgia. George Buford. Anyway, Makita Corporation of America, Buford, Georgia. Assemble in the USA. So what we're presuming is um, from Japan, they get all sent all the bits. And it's like then they have guys in the factory building all this up. So this, what this is, is a com LXT brushless combi drill mid-range. So you can tell it's mid-range because it's got a plastic chuck. And then it's got like um, all plastic here. On the, the upper range Makita LX, LXT, it has a, a, like an aluminium sort of gearbox there. So this is a mid-range combi drill in America and... The serial numbers are LXP HO, HO5. You can't buy this in the UK, but there is an equivalent. Not anymore, because I don't think you can buy this anymore. The equivalent, is, I've seen one on eBay, and it's DHP459. That is the sort of like the European model of this. But I haven't got one to, to compare it. But check, what the, what's the difference? Well... There's only a couple, what I can see, there's only a couple of differences, is the European one has got a different chuck. It's still a plastic chuck on the European one. But look at this. This is a Jacob's chuck. Even though it's all worn out, I think I'm going to, if I do anything with this, I'm going to have to replace it. But it's a Jacob's chuck, no, nonetheless. You always get a bit worn out there. And it, I, like, well, I quite like this. It's got that little spinny bit there. So if it gets, um, obviously it's it's got jammed there. What I mean is it's got rubbed against something when it's been drilling and it's made a mess of that bit. But that bit there can spin freely. So that bit doesn't get damaged. So it's got a Jacob's chuck. And other things that are different, it's got these stickers on the bottom. Warning, to reduce the risk of injuries, users must read instructions manuals for use only with Makita batteries. BL81815 or BL1830. How's my American accent doing? Not fucking brilliant. Anyway, never mind. And I think the other the other language is um, Spanish or something. Or Mex Spanish? Could be Spanish. No, the, the way I'm thinking of that is whether these got imported out of America into Mexico. Um, I probably got that totally wrong. I probably offended somebody. But the European ones don't have that little warning label. Now, the other things that are slightly different is um, I don't think I don't think they've got that that sort of um, sort of brushless sort of it's it's not a sticker. It's sprayed on. It's like a it's sprayed onto the actual over molding. And look at this. Look at this. This is, this is exciting. It's got the brushless motor sort of like sprayed on. Um, label sort of thing and that is in like a metallic i hope it come you can't really see it but it's like a metallic paint that's teal material it says brushless mo brushless motor that doesn't even sound english and it's got another thing on the back saying brushless as well brushless brushless anyway i don't know if i'm very good at american accents look at this what's this ul listed tool um, not sure, but the rub the rubber over moulding is not in bad condition apart from that little bit there, so that's not too bad. Quite a nice little drill. Okay, I better get back to my brew. Thanks for watching another John's Brew Time Bants. Okay.